Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming an eyeshadow tutorial using two different palettes from ColourPop. The first one is the California Love Palette, which looks like this. It's full of very kind of warm, bronzy, gold, yellow tones. It's really, really pretty. My friend Jackie gifted this to me for my birthday. So thank you so much, Jackie. And then the other palette that I have is the X's and O's palette, which I did just film a tutorial using this specific palette only. So that should already be up. And if it is, I will link it down below. But this is what this one looks like inside. It is a lot deeper a lot more deep toned, pink toned, rosy toned shades. But I think that together they will be very, very complimentary. Here's what they look like side by side. And I'm just gonna create kind of a fun fall type look. I'm going to the fair later today and I want something kind of orangey, rusty, kind of fall appropriate, you know? So let's go ahead and get started with this tutorial. So to get started, I'm going to be going in with the X's and O's palette. I'm going to be using this shade right here. It's called Fortunate, and it's kind of like a warm, chocolatey brown shade. And I'm just going to be using this in my crease and outer V area using a large fluffy brush from um, Farrah Cosmetics. So I will say that with that particular shade, it is kind of muddy to use at first. It feels like the color where you deposit it with your brush, it kind of just wants to stick to that spot and not really blend out. So you really have to work at blending it out. But once it is blended, it is a very, very beautiful shade. And I do like how it looks in the crease, but I am going to go ahead and deepen it up a little bit. I'm going to use a smaller blending brush if I can find it. This one is slightly smaller. It's my favorite one. It's from Luxie, and I'm going to be going in this shade right here. This is Reckless. It's a deep kind of reddish brown, and I think that it's going to look really pretty deepening up the crease. It's going to kind of create a berry type effect, and then we're going to pack some orange and some golds on it and some glitter, and it's going to be really pretty. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and use that first brown shade again, back with the fluffier brush. Actually, you know what, I'm gonna use more of a tapered brush. This one is from SL Miss Glam, and I'm just gonna use that same fortunate shade, the chocolatey brown, and kind of warm everything back up. Now that I have that done, I'm gonna move on into the California Love Palette, and I'm gonna use this shade right here. This is called Gold Rush. It is a very pretty, kind of terracotta-y gold. It's got some gold reflect in it, and I'm just gonna use this to really kind of focus it more specifically in the crease, not really the outer V area. And I'm also gonna brush some of this along my lower lash line. The red that is in that particular shade is really complementary to the red that was in the deeper shade that we used, as well as the brown being complementary to the brown that we used, and it kind of ties the whole look together and makes a more cohesive look. So now I'm going to go ahead and sweep a little bit of it under my lower lash line. Now that that is complete, I'm actually gonna add some yellow into this. Um, this is the shade Sequoia, and it's this beautiful golden yellow shade. And I'm just gonna kinda sweep this through the crease and across the lid and see how this turns out. I'm gonna switch over to an angled shader brush for this particular shade, just so I can really get it into the inner corner type area. Let's 
super pretty. I love how this is turning out. Okay, to top that off, I'm going to go in with this shade right here, Diego. This is a very, very glittery gold shade. I'm going to go back and use that same um, angled shadow brush and just pack this on the lid. This is a very glittery shade. There is a lot of fallout to it, so do be careful. And now on top of that, I'm going to be using this shade right here. This is more of a subdued gold. It is called Cruisin', but it's got some nice reflect to it. If you can see, it's not really picking up. And I'm just going to pack this one on as well. All right, going back with my fluffy blending brush in that gold rush shade, that first shade we used from this palette. The brown with the gold reflect just kind of blend out the edges a little bit, tidy it up. And then going in with a large fluffy brush and brushing away any fallout, any glitter. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and go off camera, apply my liner and mascara and some lips, and I will be back to show you the completed look. All right, guys, so here is the completed look. I did end up adding some highlight to underneath my brow bone and to my inner corner. I just used the lightest shimmery shades in both of those palettes to get that. And then for my lips, I used a mixture of the Too Faced Melted Liquefied Longwear Lipstick in Melted Berry and the Lime Crime, um, whatever these are called, Velveteen um, Lipsticks in Squash. And I combined these and made this look. So hopefully you enjoyed this fun, quick, easy, berry orange gold inspired fall tutorial. I am really happy with how it turned out. I really like it. Um, let me know down below what you guys think, what other palettes you want me to try out and use and create a tutorial with. I would be more than happy to do that for you. And I will talk to you next time. Thanks so much for watching. Bye guys. If a picture's worth a thousand words, I'll paint an invitation to let you in.